Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we are going to do an unboxing and first impression of the current budget smartphone king, the Xiaomi Redmi 5A. Let's get to it! Welcome back guys, so I got this one from the Xiaomi official store on Lazada for just only 4,390 pesos as it's currently on sale. I ordered this last night and I got it the next day, so kudos to Lazada for the fast delivery service. The product as you can see is well packaged so that's appreciated. Inside the package we have of course the Xiaomi Redmi 5A itself. You know me guys, I like this color a lot. At the back of the box we have a quick info about the specs which we'll talk about later. By the way guys, sorry for my hands, I had a terrible case of sunburn during our holiday vacation. So right off the bat, we're greeted by the phone itself, some paperwork, and what I have here is the dark gray variant. I'll just paste this aside and let's take a look at what's included in the package. So we have here the charger, this is a standard 5V 1A wall adapter, and a micro USB cable right here. It also comes with a SIM ejector tool, and that's about it. Alright. Let's take a closer look at the Xiaomi Redmi 5A. At first glance, I really like this dark gray color variant but I think it's more of a black and silver color to be honest. In front it comes with a protective plastic that will satisfyingly peel right now. To be honest, I was expecting that the bezels are larger than it actually is. It's actually not that big at all. Flipping it at the back we have the speaker at the bottom and at the top we have the 13 megapixel f2.2 camera. We also have the IR blaster, a microphone, and a 3.5mm jack. At the bottom, we have the micro USB port and the primary microphone. On the left side, we have the micro SD and SIM card slots, and at the right side, we have the volume rocker and the power button. Let's take a closer look at the SIM card slots. This is the global version and it's not a hybrid, so it has a dedicated micro SD card slot and two nano SIM card slots. Let's pop it back in and power this baby up. While it's booting, let's talk about its specs, shall we? So the display is a 5.0 HD IPS panel and the camera is 13 megapixel f2.2. It supports micro SD card up to 256GB and has a Snapdragon 425 processor. Again what I have here is the dark gray 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM variant. I'll pop the complete specifications on the screen so you can take a look at it. The initial setup is pretty straightforward. Choose language, region, connect to the network, accept terms and conditions, etc. It's very intuitive even for first-time smartphone users. After the setup process, you will be greeted by the MIUI 9 interface. Let's take a quick look at the system information and see what we actually have. So it's running on Android Nougat 7.1.2 with MIUI 9.2.2 out of the box a quad-core 1.4GHz processor with a 2GB of RAM. Now, the internal storage is 16GB but half of it has been eaten by the operating system already. As you can see, we already have an available update so that's also appreciated. I'm just going to update it later. Alright, so for my first impression, I feel like I'm gonna like this one. It has these sexy curves that makes it a little bit slimmer than it actually is. And that also helps for proper grip without being uncomfortable around the corners, so it's pretty easy to use one-handed. The construction although it's made of plastic feels robust enough, and the overall design is pleasing enough for my taste. Especially for this dark gray variant where the front is all black. With regard to the hardware, this is the best in class right now for the budget category with a decent Snapdragon 425 processor and an Adreno 308 GPU with a substantial 2GB of RAM. It also has a decent 1280x720p IPS panel with vibrant colors and great viewing angles. And when it comes to performance, as you can see, the MIUI 9 on top of Android Nougat is quite snappy and responsive. The only downside for me is the 16GB of ROM, which half of it is already used out of the box. Other than that, I agree that this is the current budget smartphone king. Lastly guys, just for comparison, I have here the rose gold version with the white colored front. That's it guys for my unboxing and first impression of this amazing phone. I will test this even further, maybe do a couple of updates, tweaks, and whatnot, and I will get back to you with a full review and honest experience. So subscribe if you're interested in that. I'll put a link on the description where you can grab one of these 
and I highly suggest you get one now while it's on sale. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you.